Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another hair video. On one of the very first hairstyle videos I posted, I noticed a lot of you guys commented on the video that you like didn't know how to braid, you didn't know like the braids that I did, you like wish you could do the hairstyles but you couldn't because of the braids. So here I am. I promised you guys I would do a braid video. I learned how to do braids really really young from like my mom and my sister they taught me. Um, so I kind of want to like impart my knowledge to you guys I guess um, and then teach you some of my like favorite braids because honestly like just knowing a basic braid can make your hair look so cute and you can do so many cute hairstyles with like a simple braid. So I'm gonna help you guys have like the cutest hair ever. <laughs> Let's just get shit in the video. <laughs> so first I'm gonna start off with just like a normal three strand basic braid. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, the best way to learn this actually the way that I learned it is you actually take like three pieces of like string or rope or something and like tape it to a wall and then actually weave it. So I'll go ahead and like insert a little clip because that's honestly how I learned it and it was so much easier than actually having to like take your hair and like grab a bunch of strands and it get all messed and twisted and yeah. So as you can see, I have these three pieces that I have taped. Um, this is really good way to learn any like advanced braid. Um, so I'm gonna start off by kind of just separating each piece. Um, you can either for this, you can use ribbon, string, yarn, literally whatever you need. Um, so basically this is just getting down the fundamentals of braiding. So you're gonna start by separating the pieces. And you're going to take either outside, let's start with this one. So say this is A, B, and C. So you're going to start with A and put it into the middle. And then you're going to kind of drop it. Then you're going to take this outside guy, which is C, and put it into the middle now. So A is on the up on this back side. And then this is going to be B, so you're going to pull it over into the middle. And you're just going to keep following the same pattern, starting with the left side, bringing it in towards the center, and then taking the right side and bringing it towards the center and just keep doing that braiding motion so again taking the outside pulling it into the middle dropping it in the outside into the middle and then like i said just keep doing this until you basically have the hand motion down this is the easiest way because you can actually see yourself doing it before you actually get into hair because hair has so many little tiny strands okay so i'm gonna flip around to show you how to kind of do it from the back because typically when you do a braid you'll be doing it in the back um so yeah let me just flip around and show you real quick Okay, so you're gonna start off with three pieces of your hair. Make sure you split it into three equal parts or your braid kind of looks wonky. I've honestly learned this the hard way. So you're gonna take a piece on whichever edge you decide to pick. And what I like to do is I take my pointer finger, I grab it, drop it with this hand, and then go underneath and pick up the bottom strand and then drop this one. And then do the same thing. Take this guy, pull it over, grab it with your pointer finger or middle finger, whichever one you wanna do. Grab it and then grab it th and then grab this bottom one. And again, like I said, so you're gonna drop this one, take this finger or pull this one over, take your pointer finger, grab it, drop it and let go. And keep doing this all the way down. And personally, because I do have longer hair, I like to kind of flip mine in the front or else it's like awkward trying to like manipulate it in the back and my arms end up hurting. So I was just like flip it to the front. So here when you do this, you're just gonna kind of reverse how you're doing it. So instead of bringing the braid to the front, you're gonna bring it to the back now because we're reversing it. And then just keep doing this all the way down. And then just go ahead and tie it off. I typically, because I do have finer hair, um, I like to use those like little like clear rubber bands, like the little tiny ones. Um, just because so it's not as like intense as a big old black rubber band or a scrunchie or whatever um, But I ha don't have any right now. So we're just gonna use a little hair tie <laughs> um, So yeah, this is what a braid looks like and then typically with my braids I do like to kind of like pull it out and kind of just like messify it That's just kind of my style because I like messier hairstyles, I guess um, But yeah, this is like the most basic braid you'll know this braid is like the stepping stones to everything else that I'll kind of show in this video. Okay, so next is a French braid and this is kind of just like a escalated version or a more intense version of the normal braid. It's the same technique, except we're just doing it all the way down our head instead of just like a few strands just chilling. It's like actually like integrated in our head, I guess. I don't know. So again, I'm gonna flip around to show you guys. Okay, so again, we're gonna start off with three parts and this time we're gonna start at the top of the head. So I like to take my thumbs and grab a kind of do like a U shape with your thumbs meet in the middle and pick it up. 
And then after you do that, you're going to split that section into three parts. And then again, you're going to take this piece, grab it with your middle finger, grab it with this hand, and then do the same thing with this one on this side. And then here's where it gets tricky. You're going to take your thumb, after you um, we, like braid both ends in, you're going to take the end that you started with, take your thumb, scrape it along your forehead, and grab a little piece of hair all the way, basically from where your hair starts to where your braid's going to be down your head. And you're going to take it and wrap it around just like you would normally do with your other piece. So again, you're going to take your thumb, drag it across, grab a bunch of hair, add it to that original piece, and then fold it over. And then again, just keep doing that all the way down. So here I'm grabbing a piece, adding it to the original piece, and braiding it over. And then once you get down to the, the very bottom where there's no hair left, you're basically just going to keep braiding as if you normally would, like I showed in the very first part of this video. And then again, we're going to just braid like we did normally in the front, again, because it's tiring to braid like this the entire time, so just pull it to the front, make it easier on yourself. Okay, so here we go. As you saw, I tied it off, and I will show you the back with this hairstyle. I typically like to kind of, again, messify it, pull it out, pull a bunch of like strands out in the front. Um, so this is how my French braid turned out. As you can see, it starts all the way up here and goes all the way down. For this braid, you can honestly either do it like very loose and kind of just like hanging, kind of just like sagging down, uh, kind of very like more messy, loose, kind of like a chill look, I guess. Um, or you can do it a lot more tighter. Um, you could do like thinner strands, thicker strands. There's so many variations. So yeah, that is the French braid. Okay, so next is going to be one that is very similar to the French braid and the normal braid, but again, it's like a little bit more advanced. It is the Dutch braid. This personally is my favorite braid just because it kind of makes the braid like set off of your head, if that makes any sense. Like it's like, I don't know how to explain this. Basically with this braid, instead of, it's like a normal braid, but instead of putting the pieces in you put them underneath so the braid is like actually like kind of sticking up I guess it's like three more 3d I don't know I'll just show you I'm gonna flip around so you can see it okay so again like we did with the last braid we're gonna start with three parts again take your thumb make a u-shape and you're going to split it off into three even sections okay so now that you have the three even sections normally for a braid you take this piece and put it over here but now we're gonna take this piece and put it under the middle piece. And then, so you're gonna take this one, I like to grab it with my middle finger underneath, let go of it, take this hand and grab the top one. And then now that I've done both sides, I'm gonna take my thumb, grab some hair from my scalp, and then again, grab it with my middle finger, drop it, and grab the top one. And you're just gonna keep doing this all the way down. It's literally the same thing as the other French braid, but instead of braiding on top, instead of bringing the hairs on top, you're gonna take them underneath. Okay, now again, we are at the bottom, just like before, so this time just continue the same hand motion, and this time we're gonna take the braid and again, pull it underneath. And then we're gonna flip and just keep doing. And so now we're gonna bring it kind of, this is gonna feel more like a traditional braid. So now we're gonna start weaving them in front because again, when we bring it to the front, we kind of reverse it. Okay, so I have tied it off. And as you can see from the front, it basically looks like just like a normal basic braid. But when I flip, so when I flip, as you can see, instead of it kind of being like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like more into my head. It actually sticks out kind of more like a mohawk kind of thing going on. Um, so yeah, you can see right here that the braid is on top of the hair. So I personally like to use this braid um, whenever I'm doing like any small like braided detail. So if I'm doing like a braid that's going across my head or it's really popular, the thing that made it really big was the boxer braids, like the two double braids. Um, most people use this hairstyle for it. 
Um, but yeah, it's really good if you have um, either not a lot of hair or fine hair or if you're just making like kind of a small braid and you want it to kind of stick out more. I feel like when you do a normal French braid, it kind of hides in and it's not as obvious. But when you do this, it just makes it more obvious and makes the hairstyle look so much cuter. Okay, the next hairstyle is going to be the most the most advanced out of all of them. Um, it is the fishtail braid. I love this braid. It's so pretty. I don't do it a ton just because it does kind of take up a lot of time. Because it's very, it's honestly very tedious, but it's so freaking pretty. Um, I'm going to do a normal and then I'll show you how to also make it into a French I don't know if it's considered like a, fr I call it, I call it a French fishtail. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what we're going to go with. Um, so I'm actually going to just show you, like, I'm going to take my hair, split it in half and show you on like this half right here, just cause again, like I said, it's kind of hard, kind of confusing, kind of tedious. Um, so this is probably the easiest way. You're going to start off by splitting your hair into two pieces. Um, make sure they're even cause if not, it definitely does mess up this hairstyle a lot. So how I do it with like how I move my hands to make this easier for me personally, first I take my thumb and you're going to reach underneath like this, go through it, pull a piece of hair from the bottom and then kind of like twist your wrist and then take your pointer finger and grab it and pull it onto the other side. And then again, you're going to do the same thing. So take your thumb, pull it underneath and through to pick up a little tiny piece of hair pick your pointer finger or take your pointer finger grab it and move it over and you're just going to keep doing this all the way till you get to the bottom um with this hairstyle it's best if you use like super thin pieces um because the thicker you go the more it tends to look just like a normal braid but if you do really thin pieces it looks more obviously like a fishtail um so yeah you're just going to keep going again like i said pick on pick a hair from underneath with your thumb Grab it with your pointer finger, pull it across to the other side, and then keep doing that all the way down. As you can see, this is why it takes so much more time. One, the handwork is just like kind of awkward, not gonna lie. And it has to be so tiny piece. It, like you have to use such tiny pieces that it just, it takes so long, but it's so pretty. And if you guys can't tell, this side is a lot smaller than this side now, just because I guess I was grabbing bigger set pieces on this side of my like braid than this side so the way to fix that is to just grab kind of like a big piece on the side that's thicker and pull it over and then make sure you pull a super tiny piece on this side and pull it over so you're kind of like adding more hair to the so to the thinner side um so you're kind of like evening it out i guess Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I have a little bit left, but it's just taking forever, so I'm just gonna stop there. So here's the overall look of the fishtail. And again, with this one, I also like to pull it out and just make it look a little bit more full. So yeah, this is the fishtail. It does take a while to like kind of master and get it down so it actually looks good. Um, so I would recommend practicing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you again, like I said, the French fishtail. So again, I'm gonna flip around so you can see the back. Okay, so just like the last one, we're gonna take our thumbs and make a U shape, except for this time we are only gonna part it into two parts. And again, make sure they are even. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna do kind of like we did last time and do one piece before we actually start getting into the like, I don't know, adding more hair into it, I guess. Okay. So now that I've done one on each side, you're going to take your thumb and pick a super thin piece and then instead of basically do what we did for the braid, so you're literally just going to grab it with your pointer fingers, drop it, grab the bottom one and then add it to this piece. So it's kind of confusing. In this hand, I always have like one piece like in three fingers kind of in my palm and then kind of like pinching the other piece. Okay, so now again, like I don't have any hair, we're just gonna go back like we were normally doing it. Honestly, doing it in the back can be a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. It might be easier to actually take your finger, take your two fingers and grab a little piece 
instead of just using your thumb. And then because my arms are burning, I'm gonna flip around. Okay, so again, we're gonna bring it forward. And since we flipped it this time, what, how I do it is I take my pointer finger and I pull the hair like this, like I put my finger through and then I wrap it around and grab it with my other pointer finger. So again, take this pointer finger and like the finger that you're trying to pull the hair from, push it through, grab a little piece, twist your wrist, grab it with your opposite pointer finger and let go. And then just keep doing that all the way down. Again, tie it off, and as you can see, this is actually a way better French uh, fish tail than last time. Okay, so this is the back. So fish tail braid is more of like a, I would say fancier one. Um, if like the normal braid is kind of more casual and comfy, and this one is kind of more like dressed up. As you can see in the back, it was very, very kind of more of a pretty look, I guess. Um, so if you want more of like a fancy braid, I would definitely go for this. So that is the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed those different braids. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. I will have them linked down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So next time I upload, you guys get notified. If you like the video, please either like or comment so I know you guys like this kind of content. Um, so I know what you guys are wanting and I know what you guys want to see. Um, and I love hearing your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.